Vapeuspala. Good morning all, how are we today? Monday? Last week before Christmas? Well, Christmas is late this week, isn't it? So, very soon now. And I'm here to do some stuff. What I do today? More work on... Um, I'm going to be able to work on... Radio. It's going to be a long show, isn't it? I can't get the right words out. I have my tea. And I suspect part of the problem is I've not had enough tea yet. So maybe that's part of the problem. But general plan is to do a bit more related to adding a new album on upload of a file. So when you're going to create a new album as we upload a file, that seems like a useful thing to do. Now, running slightly behind today, so I'm not actually set up at all. Um, so, literally just got my, uh, what's this? Terminal open. This is really going to be a slow day, isn't it? Here, let's make that a bit bigger. Keep that to put it in the right place. <coughs> there we go. So let's go to Rodeo. Oh, we're still in this branch, so the first thing we need to do is get that branch um, merged, I think. Good morning, Felix. How are you today? I can't say if I'm in a good mood or not. I don't particularly want to work this week. Harried. Yeah, that's not a bad word. <sighs> yeah, I've got loads of work to do today. I don't really want to do any of it. Pretty much ready for a break now. Um, if we're lucky, might not need to work Wednesday. Well, big thing to do today and tomorrow got meetings. And you've discovered your food delivery. Oh no, made an expired card. Yeah, that was possible. Uh, oh no, that's frustrating and. I suppose now you've got all the risks and worry about trying to make sure that the delivery actually happens. Yeah, that's a lot of unneeded stress this morning. So what am I doing today? Go. Oh. No, not yeah. Uh, no, let's open up Safari. And we want... We want GitLab, the GitHub, GitHub, Acrobat, not IP address middleware, Rodeo. Oh good, I'm glad it's all sorted. That could have uh, been very worrying, but sometimes the phone is the right answer, isn't it? So on the pull request page, here we go. For a new album, if none found, there we go. Yeah, so I got to use this feature over the weekend. I don't know and don't suppose most of you follow my Flickr feed, but on Flickr, assuming Flickr is actually working, or is my maybe it's my network? No Flickr, no Flickr. All these photos are trains, all those new photos. I went out on Saturday and took some photos um, on the Seven Valley Railway, and then I need to upload them all into an album. And this one down here, probably my favourite of the day. Very first photo I took on there, very first photo I took of the day, the uh, first scene I saw, um, probably could have gone straight home after that. So that's a very evocative start to the day. But I uploaded the photos and you can see that they've gone into this album here, SVR 19 December 2020. And that's album I created using Rodeo as I uploaded them, which was awesome. Very, very happy about that. But it did emphasize the thing I thought about last time, but I don't like pressing return a second time. We need to think about that. Right, anyway. 
I'm going to do Flickr later. So this works. Part of the address is 22. I'm happy with it, so we can merge this one. Um, it's on the milestone correctly. Double check the actual source files. Check the diff, make sure we're completely happy with it. So we took out the errors import. We passed album in as a reference to upload file so that we could edit it. I'll update the actual object because it's this is in a for loop. That's where we pass it in there as a pointer. Um, Change the ID to name because we might have a name but not an ID yet. That makes sense. Uh, no inspection line because it doesn't like the fact that I'm using error here. When no, it doesn't like the fact that I'm using resp set date here when an error occurred because it can't tell whether resp set date has a valid is a valid object or not. And convention in Go is it probably isn't. Um, but the way that the photo set dates um, function works within the uh, SDK I'm using is valid because there's an error message property on it. But Go gets upset. Or most really, Go land gets upset. If we have an album, two, then we iterate over them. We're iterating over them. If we don't have an album ID, we're going to create the new photo set. Otherwise, we're going to add to the photo set. We updated get albums. The diff is quite nice in uh, GitHub, isn't it? What do we do here? We don't go to photo set. Oh, yeah, we prompted for the album. Use the default of what they typed in. And it's control C to cancel. And there's the prompt itself. Use it in buff.io, that all looks fine. New lines. And finally, we tidied up the metadata error so we could understand it better. Yeah, yeah that doesn't look unreasonable. Let's get that merged. That's 22. Back here, get. Git check out um main main on this part yeah main get pull origin yeah we'll have to stay not to surprise of course because nobody else works on this project so I can git merge dash dash uh no ff and then dash for the uh, previous Launch and this will close 32, but no, won't fix 22 because I still got some more work to do on 22. Then I can push that and that will merge the. Oh, we go merged. Oh, now I can delete it, of course. That's right. So git branch minus d 22, whatever. And get push origin origin dash dash delete dollar and now we've deleted it from GitHub as well. As you should see that it's deleted. Uh, let's go back to twenty two. Uh, that's the wrong button. Ah, yeah, we won that one. Support creation new album one uploaded. Right, and a decision to be made, which uh, 14 days ago now. Should we use dash dash create album foo or add interactivity to dash dash album foo so you can create a new album? It's not found. Morning, Greg. How are you today? Looking forward to Christmas. Not long now. You got four weeks work. When do you break up? Break up the right word. We break up for Christmas when we're this age. Then I've got kids and they've broken up for Christmas so from college, and I suppose I still use that terminology. I we still use that terminology uh, as workers. That's a question, isn't it? Hmm. 
Who knows? Anyway. Um, and what we did with pull request 32 is we added interactivity to dash dash album. So you can see that here. Uh, go run main upload dash 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 n for dry run. And then we need the file. I created one earlier today. Well, I created it yesterday. So there should be one sitting in here. Oh, hang on, that's not going to show. Uh, we need to put in that dash dash album bit, don't we? Dash dash album uh, Christ that's 2020. And there is the Christmas 2020 album, so it should prompt me. Do I want to use 2020 or write my own name? Good to see that uh, Greg's okay. He's also looking forward to Christmas. Not the best because you can't see family, yeah. That's a problem. My family, and no, my parents at least, are in London, in a borough of London, so they're very much in tier four now, in possibly the least bungled and most bungled least organized least competent announcement and management that the government has done so far um, I'm not sure where my political loyalties are but I do expect competence from my government that is definitely not what we're getting at the moment I feel this is humming the band band aids tune. <laughs> Do they know it's Christmas? That is a question. So yeah, my sister was going to go down. She lives in Blackburn. Um, she and my mum are really close, and obviously they can't go down to. Uh, she can't go down to London now, so they're all a bit upset about that. We weren't going anyway because. Two families meeting up was more than enough risk, we felt. So no Christmas family for us. Well, except our immediate family, of course. Yeah, so mum and dad and my sister are a bit upset still, which is a shame. That's a good news, though, related to COVID and whatnot. And my dad's getting on a bit now. I mean, I'm getting on a bit now, so see, my dad is also getting on a bit now. And he had his first vaccine, first shot of the vaccine yesterday. So that kind of makes it a bit real, doesn't it? His next one is in about a month, just over, just under a month, yeah. 20th of January, he has his next shot. And once he's had the second one, I think it's sort of six or seven days after that, they consider you be protected. So we're looking at Dad having his protection in place by the end of January, and that's pretty awesome. He's 88, he's the wrong side of a triple heart bypass, so pretty high up on the list of vulnerable people. So pleased about that, that was good news. I think I'm a bit further down the list. Hopefully we'll all get there over the first half of uh, next year or so. So yeah, and then I can enter my name for my new album, or I can press enter for Christmas 2020. And that's what I did yesterday while I was uploading, what was it Saturday? Saturday, when I was uploading the photos from the Seven Valley Railway. Um, and it was interesting how I wasn't totally impressed with that, because using Dash Dash album is implicitly an interactive thing. And I knew that album doesn't exist. I know Christmas 2020 doesn't exist. So I don't really want to get that request. I don't have to hit enter. And I don't realise it's just hitting enter. But I decided using it that I don't think about it that way. Album implies I'm adding to an album that exists. So I'm going to add support for create album. Which will create the album non-interactively immediately and then upload the image to it. So I think we're going to do that. I'm pretty sure this is now quite easy because all the work we did for supporting adding a new album 
So my, uh, adding a new album when you um, don't know its name. Sorry, fire the album thing can all be used. There's some more work we need to do on the album as well because uh, that's a there. If I type in SVR, I'm going to get a long list. It's interesting how features evolve. And there's 31 albums here. I'll tell you what, that should be all the other way around. The most recent ones should be at the bottom because they're the ones you see. But there's my list of available albums. And this the one I was looking for, which was obviously the 19th of December. It's the one I did recently. If that one's not there, then I'd quite like to add a new album immediately. So really, when it says select album, that should say, is my mouse gone? Select album or enter name of new album. That would be a good feature as well. That's not the one I want to do at the moment. So I shall add that as an issue whilst we think about it. Allow creation of new album when selecting a dash dash album. I have to write it down. Don't know about you, but I would forget it. So when uh, selecting when using dash dash album to add to a new uh, to add to an this will add an existing album. And then what we're gonna do? I'm using dash dash album to add to existing album. Allow the user to enter the name of a new album. Album to be created. Nice, I can't spell album. There we go. It builds on to submit that album. Okay, good. So that's that done. Right, okay, so let's control C that. So what I want to do, I didn't keep it, is make create album work like that. So let's do that. Land. Ah, uh, possibly. In there. I need Golan dot. There we go. That's what I promised, isn't it? Let's hop. Okay, and I remember how we had new image, not image command line option. We must do this in upload, mustn't we? Must go in here. Somewhere in here. Look at the top. Somewhere in here, we must be able to have the list. There we go, the list of flags. We're going to add a new flag here called create album. Add to a new album. Create. Create a new album. Image to it and add photo to it. Something like that. And then it's obviously not create album one, two, three, four, five, six. It's create album um, SVI. That'll do, nice and short. So I suppose we can test that. 
with go run main.go upload dash dash help. And there we go, create album is in the list. Create a new album and add a photo to it. So this getting bigger lock. I need to find out how to turn that off. Um, good. So now we need to use it. This is the closure that gets run. There's where we do the value of our album. So we're going to do it before that. Up here, add my D flags get string create eight album. That's not really not like it's really not an album ID, is it? That's really an album name. We don't need to get the album. Oh, we so we do need to do. We should probably check whether it exists. Because if, if that exact name already exists, we probably don't want to create it again. And instead, we just want to add to it. Or error, one of the two. So we're going to do get albums but, and pass in album name. And that gives a list of the names. Oh, that's going to be a bit weird. Let's put a... Format.print here. Uh, stop it. I just want to exit at this point. Turn. Won't do that any further. Let's experiment with what's going to happen if we do that. Okay, so. Uh, go run main, create album Christmas 2020 for this particular file. Doesn't like something. 87. Oh, it doesn't like using album then. That needs to be album equal sign. And that should tell me no albums found. And <laughs> it's going to do that. That's no good. Obviously, it's going to do that because we just made create to do the same as dash dash album which wasn't too bright at all. So we need to rethink that bit. We can't use get albums directly. Now get albums probably has some primitives. However, if it doesn't, we need to allow it. Yes, it's this bit here. See, I thought I was being clever by putting this here. But really, that needs to be refactored out now. So let's create a new function. Right. Uh, yeah, what do I do there? I'll teach me to copy too much. Which one is it? Get albums, this function here. Let's do something about this. That function, there we go. Right, so get albums shouldn't. If it errors not it, yes, yeah, so I should just do that. Nope. Yeah, it should do that. No albums found. And no photo sets, I suppose. Found. Return. Album. Okay, it's not an error, but we have no albums. So we just return an empty album. And then this function down here, get albums. Or prompt or new one. All right, and now that can do albums, comma, error equals get albums of my D if 
error. We had an error. So return. Oh, that's the album still. Where's the album from? Return albums error. Just pass it straight up. Otherwise, we need to count them. Rid of. Uh, let's drop tape to there. And now we need to find out how many albums we've got. So I wonder if you can, can, oh, Len, I wonder if Len works. If Len albums zero, oh, we don't have any albums. Create one. Just error there. Do we normally use error? No, we normally use err. Uh, not why I used error that time. Uh, not equal to nil. Change that to error. Uh, third not equal to nil. I'll see error up the chain. Otherwise, create an albums and append it. So we've done that before up here. Not here, here. That line. Oh no, hang on, Let albums is already the right type, so we can just straight append it. So albums is already an, a list or a slice of albums. So I can literally just append it here. And then return my one album. Otherwise, I can return albums of nil. Like that. Which means I don't need that line at all, because we can just drop out the if loop. There we go, now about that. So now I've got get albums and get albums or prompt for new one. Prompt for new name. Now let's go up a level. Yeah, back to the top. Now that's get albums, but this one needs to be get albums or prompt for new name. And I thought I saw get albums was used somewhere else as well. It's used there, and it's also used here in 492. Oh, that's right, yes, called, called here, which is fine as well, yeah. Okay, good. So that refats that. So now we should be able to call that again, and we should see it goes straight to stopping because we don't have an album. Right, let's commit that change on its own. So git... Check out uh, minus b for new branch, 22, and create album. Well, that's nice for less tree. I think. Right, so what do we want to do? I could use git add p, git add dash p, but let's just use a GUI tool. I want to stage that hunk. No, I don't want to stage that hunk. Stage that hunk. I want to stage that hunk. And I want to stage those two lines there. Yeah, don't need those changes. So now what we're doing here is we are doing a refactor. So git check, git commit minus v. Refactor get albums to get album or prompt for new name. When up uh, get albums insert the get albums method was performing to function. We need those two things to be separate. Right, so that we can retrieve. Let's retrieve. Retrieve the list of the albums for a given name separately. I've used separate already, so it's actually somewhere in the 
and click from prompting. So. Yeah. Okay, so now we've refactored that. So now we've got to stop in, and presumably we've got an empty list of albums. So we didn't find the album. So now we can test that. If then of uh, no, that's wrong. Len of albums is equal not equal to oh, it's equal to zero. I tell you what we need to yes. Well, actually, we need to check we got a name. If album name like that. We're going to test this if someone typed in a valid name. Doesn't like if album name is not equal to string. Look explicit with your booleans and go. Doesn't like it if you're not explicit. Very upset. So I think it's quite rude. The length of albums is zero. What are we going to do? We're going to add a new album to the list. Albums. Oh, so we're going to need the albums thing here. We've got an array of albums. Copied that already. There it is. And now we can do albums equals is it albums dot append album like that. We need an album here. Now we've done that work before, probably in here. So let's go and find that. Uh, star album. So we did it in this function. There we go. We do it like that. Um, it was 87, wasn't it? Yep. Like that. And it's not chosen album name, it's just the name that we started with. There we go. So if we have an album. So if we ask for an album, then we go into here. Try get list of albums. If we find it, then we're going to jump over that. So we've got the list of albums. Oh, this is going to override it. Do I want to start within the process that allows you to create and add at the same time? Probably not, but so let's do if then of albums is equal to zero. Like that. We're going to have to refactor all this again at some point, aren't we? It doesn't like that somehow. Condition is always true because albums is always nil. Why is that? Ah, that's not var albums, albums. Albums colon equals. That's, that's not colon equals. Colon. Hmm, How do you do a slice of an array? Empty slice of. Empty slice declaration var literal. It doesn't like that. Type G, go land, fine, T array, empty slice. Oh, I did. Oh, did I not put a code on it? I did.
Why doesn't it like that? It looks valid, but it clearly isn't. Empty slice declaration via literal. Slice declaration via literal. That's an inspection by YouTube. Oh, okay, it's a JetBrain thing. Okay, so it's upset, and it's probably because this is better go to have that as a nil. So if albums is not equal to nil, this should force because albums is always nil. But why is it always nil when we do that? Oh, that's because that needs to be not equal. There we go. That's why. As usual, the ID is telling the truth. And if you've noticed that, but it's more right than it's wrong. I think I'm out of tea. That's sad, isn't it? Okay, so we've got nil. Uh, I've not got nil. Okay, so now that should do the right thing. Doesn't like that though. Oh, because album is no longer used. Probably because it needs to be outside this if statement. It's up here. Because we're going to use it down here. Which does imply... Oh yeah, that's right, we're going to assign an album there. Oh! I... Ooh! That's wrong. That should not be a append album, so we should be able to do if length of zero then album equals that. Otherwise album equals albums of zero. The first element in the array. Yes, like we do there. At some point we're going to have to turn this to allow multiple albums to come in, but today is not that day. Now oh, this works. That oh, might is blank. Oh, we got. We shouldn't even go in here. That's run the wrong way as well. That should be as equal to nil. If albums is nil, I might get the name of this item at the ID, and then we do get prompt or prompt a new name. This, hmm, let's try this and see what happens. Let's do the obvious one, that one. I should now dry run albums to add to Christmas 2020, which is correct. And it's going to add 365 because of a keyword on the image. What if I do album? And so Christmas 2020 do uh, SVR, uh, not that. That one, but the 19th. So if that one already exists. It's going to be added to it correctly. If I take out that completely. It does the right thing. It must work. How does that work then? I don't know. Up my days blank. Albums. Get prompt. Get albums or prompt for. Oh, I see, it must be done inside there. Yeah, if length of albums. Oh, it must be done in prompt for new album. It 
if you don't return anything, you just return. You must return a chosen album. Tenth them albums is zero. I don't understand how that works. I don't understand why it's not asking me for the album, though. How does this nil go to here? I'm going to put an F8 on. Let's go and debug this, because I don't understand it. Right, we're going to debug. Upload. Press dash, dash N. No album. And the single image, but that's not the image name. What's the correct image name? 1439. 1439. Okay, so let's run this and have a look. Not debugger. Let's run through and find out and we'll try to understand what's going on. Oh, there we go. Right, so F8 over that. Add my D. Is blank string. So album ID is still a blank string. Albums is therefore. Ah, it's an em ah, I see. Albums is an array with an empty element inside it. So we can jump over that. Length of albums is now one. So we end up there. Ooh, that's a bit rubbish. Right, let's finish it. Uh, oh, I think it would be neater. How about that one? Because we should really... do that and do if album ID is not equal to an empty string. And albums is nil. Might be the other way around. Albums is nil. And the album ID is empty string. That's better. I prefer it that way around. So if we don't have the album set, then there's no point of even going in here. Because they obviously don't want to. That makes sense. Yeah, that's a better way of doing it. Further. Go through here, and then all the rest will work. So let's, should we try that? Let's see if it works. I reckon. Uh, that button. I want that one. Create album. Add it to Christmas 2020. It looks like it'll work, so let's take out the slash uh, the dash n. Run it. Upload your photo Christmas time. Added the photo to Christmas 2020. And added it. Oh, that's interesting. We don't have the date in there. Number in there. Did it work? Have a look. There's a photo. And it is added to that photo, but it didn't put the number in. Uh, so which one's that? Add photo to new set. New set. Added photo, the new set. Album string. Why didn't it added the, oh, I know why. This album doesn't have, this I'm using the string, but I haven't added, I added it to album, not this album. Album, but ID. So that should be album. 
Right, okay, so let's run that again, but now we need to delete it out of here first. This picture, and that will also delete the album itself. Go to Flickr, not Flickr, albums. You see the album has gone. Let's run that again this time. And it should put the ID in of our new album. Oh, or not. This image is already uploaded to Flickr, of course it has. We uploaded it, so dash dash force. So that feature is to prevent me uploading the same image twice, because I probably normally don't want to do that. There we go, that's better. So now I've added it to both of them. The correct IDs. You notice 7215771 is identical each time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the first seven digits are clearly related to me. They're obviously something related to my user ID. And the album ID is that bit there. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if that's just a random number or if it literally increments. Flickr is an old enough system that you can imagine that being an increment. Then that's an awful lot of uh, albums between the two numbers. Who knows? Anyway, that looks like it worked. That's a win, isn't it? Shall we commit it? So let's fix, put that bug in first. Okay, commit uh, display album ID for new album, newly created. And then the rest of it is all one thing. So we have to create album, set our variables, we handle the create album. Handle the album. That's just that moved in. So that's all fine. Hold up. Okay, commit minus V and dash create album. Back. Allow the user to non interactively create a new album. Using dash dash create album. This overrides dash dash album. I'm going to copy that and to use it for the pull request. So let's get push that. Which I probably don't want to do that quite like that. Let's uh, paste that into here. separately okay so now we can do ghpr create minus b branch to main that's not main that's main title i want to be uh three oh, why have i lost keyboard control that and the body that e I want to, not that one, I want that one to be that. Also refactor. Uh, get albums to. Oops. That's up if you can't use Fib. There we go. To get up there. Ensure that the album ID is displayed for the created. Close those. Open. Now this time it really does fix 22. And then I want to come in, continue in browser. There it is. Now I can add it to the milestone. And I think we're done. Let's uh, create the pull request. Uh, 
and that can be reviewed and uh, checked next time. I'm going to call that a day. Need another cup of tea, need to get work done. I've got some bit of uh, abstract for a conference that I've been asked to consider speaking at. So I need to do that as well. Yeah, all done. I think we're now at the stage where I'm not going to do another one before Christmas. Can't imagine that somehow because it's already Monday. Have a really good Christmas, everyone. And maybe I'll stream between Christmas and New Year. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll take the whole week off. And if I do, I will see you in the New Year. Have a good one all.